Today, we will look into Microsoft's efforts in developing practical quantum computer. Microsoft has announced a series of assertive quantum computing advancements, paving the way for practical applications in scientific research and industry. The central one among Microsoft's advancements is the creation of highly reliable logical qubits. As a follower of this channel, you are familiar with qubits, the building blocks of quantum computers. In collaboration with Quantinuum, Microsoft has successfully demonstrated 12 entangled logical qubits with excellent fidelity. This is a meaningful step towards scalable quantum computing due to the properties of logical qubits which are imperative for error correction in quantum systems. They created the aforementioned 12 logical qubits by improving and optimizing a qubit virtualization system for Quantinuum's 56 physical qubits for a machine called as H2. Microsoft staff claimed that all the entangled 12 logical qubits in a complex state required for deeper quantum computation, and they exhibited a 22 times circuit error rate improvement over the corresponding physical qubits. Noise and errors have been major obstacles in the development of quantum computers. Current systems, known as noisy intermediate scale quantum machines, suffer from high error rates that limit their practical applications. Microsoft's approach of using logical qubits to combine multiple physical qubits aims to address this basic challenge. Along with the hardware improvements, Microsoft is also trying to integrate quantum computing with supporting advanced technologies. For example, the company has demonstrated the first full chemistry simulation performed by the cooperation of a gate-based quantum computation, classical cloud high-performance computing, and artificial intelligence. This hybrid approach showcases the potential for quantum computers to tackle complex scientific problems that are currently intractable for classical computers. Now let's change gear to talk about another collaboration. Microsoft has also announced a new collaboration with Atom Computing to develop the world's most powerful quantum machine as claimed. You may also find an individual video about Atom Computing's efforts in our channel. This partnership aims to integrate Atom Computing's Neutral Atom hardware into Microsoft's Azure quantum computing platform. It will be the launch of the quantum capabilities through the cloud, focusing on logical qubits and error correction. Rather than increasing the number of physical qubits, draw some consensus. Quality is as important as quantity when it comes to quantum bits. Microsoft is trying to develop and build up the key capabilities to reach the practical quantum computing. Here are some of the key facts of the current development. Demonstration of 12 entangled logical qubits, the largest number with the highest fidelity on record. Exhibiting a 22 times better circuit error rate with these 12 entangled qubits over corresponding physical qubits. An error rate 800 times better than the physical error rate using Quantinuum's H2 machine with four logical qubits. Especially with the demonstration of full chemistry simulation in a hybrid mode, giving the signals of quantum and AI will have the earliest significant impact for scientific discovery. Microsoft also plans to combine the enhanced qubit virtualization system with Atom Computing's Neutral Atom hardware to create a commercial quantum machine specifically willing to combine Atom's hardware with Azure Elements and Copilot. Now let's learn about physical and logical qubits more. Quantum computing uses qubits to store and process information. However, Today's qubits are prone to errors that limit their usefulness and the practicality of all noisy, intermediate-scale quantum computers. There are two approaches for reducing these errors. Improve the quality of the physical qubits and their operation. Use advanced techniques to combine multiple physical qubits into more reliable virtual qubits, which are often referred to as logical qubits. Therefore, a logical qubit is a higher-level abstraction used in fault-tolerant quantum computing to protect against noise and errors. Simply adding more error-prone physical qubits is ineffective, as it won't make a quantum computer more powerful. However, by using high-quality physical qubits with a specialized system to create virtual qubits, scaling up can lead to powerful, fault-tolerant quantum computers capable of complex, extended computations. This actually is a novel concept named as Qubit Virtualization Technique. By integrating Microsoft's Qubit Virtualization System with Quantinuum's Advanced H-Series IonTrap hardware, which offers a 2-qubit gate fidelity of 99.8%, they successfully ran 14,000 instances without any errors. The system uses sophisticated error diagnostics and corrections, 
enabling the creation of four highly reliable logical qubits from just 30 physical qubits out of 32 available. This configuration achieved a circuit error rate of 1 in 100,000. It is analogous to noise-canceling technology, vastly reducing error rates much like high-quality headphones reduce background noise. Continued optimizations promise even greater reliability and efficiency in future applications. Naturally, the future aims to hold reliable quantum computing. To advance from noisy to reliable systems, three key criteria must be met. A significant gap between logical and physical error rates. Correction of all individual circuit errors. Creating at least two entangled logical qubits. For the first time, Microsoft achieved these milestones, improving the logical error rate by 800 times over the physical error rate and successfully entangling qubits with active error diagnostics and corrections. Additionally, they demonstrated multiple rounds of active syndrome extraction on two logical qubits, marking a crucial step toward building hybrid classical quantum supercomputers that surpass the most powerful classical systems. Active syndrome extraction refers to the process of measuring and identifying errors in qubits without disturbing their quantum state, and is essential for developing fault-tolerant systems. The term syndrome refers to the pattern or signature of errors that can occur due to qubit interactions with their environment or operational imperfections. Achieving reliable quantum computing is a notable milestone and Microsoft's qubit virtualization system seems to improve by the time. This opportunity can scale to the level of hybrid supercomputing, which will require logical qubits that experience much less than one error for every 100 million operations. Such a supercomputer that combines classical and quantum capabilities could solve commercially significant problems that are far too complex for classical computers. To reach this level, Microsoft is developing a qubit with built-in error protection and digital control known as a topological qubit, and you may find a video in our channel about this topic. Quantum computers have theoretically promised to revolutionize many fields directly affecting our lives, but the technology has remained largely experimental. It is actually not a large span of time from the beginning of the experimental research efforts if we consider how virtually impossible it was at the beginning of the century. Despite skepticism and warnings about hype and unfulfilled promises, quantum computing continues to advance steadily. Industry is at the brink of reaching the next implementation level, which puts it on path to ultimately achieving practical quantum advantage. Regardless of the challenges, controlling individual atoms, photons, or electrons is an incredible achievement, and getting them to work together in a scalable way is even more remarkable. Microsoft's advancements suggest that the era of practical quantum computing may be drawing closer. However, Scaling up quantum systems while maintaining coherence and minimizing errors is hard to tackle. Human endeavor continues to push the limits to uncover the wonders that nature glimpses within the realm of minuscule. Thank you for watching.